and just make our own theme song. <laughs> Hey, this is Red Band coming to you live from the new Death Squad Studios here in Burbank, California for a brand new Death Squad podcast. It's a pilot episode. You guys have seen a lot of these before, and they've always turned out great, and this is going to turn out amazing. <laughs> <laughs> guys, I want to give you uh, up to the, uh, the brothers in cursive, brother George Lucas. <laughs> David Lucas. George, how are you? And William Montgomery. That's my stepdaddy, actually. What, William Montgomery? No, George Lucas. Oh, George is my stepdad, actually. That's weird. <laughs> so, is this your first, your guys' first podcast? Have you ever done a podcast before? I have. What was it called? Did you do a lot of episodes? Stressed out, maybe like 25 episodes. How many S's in stressed? Four. Stress. Two at the front, two in the middle. One at the end. Stress. One at the end. Was there any format to the uh, the show? Was it like a interview? Free for all. Free for all. We had guestesses. Guestesses. What about you, Will? You had a podcast? Yeah, it was called Twister Two. We would talk a lot about uh, tarantula movies. We'd talk a lot. Uh, yeah, a bunch of spider movies. It was cool. Spiders. Spiders, Spider Man, arachnophobia, spi- arachnophobia. Watch that almost every <laughs> day. It was a daily podcast. We did two thousand episodes. What's your biggest fear, William? Uh, probably jumping into a lake, thinking a boat is at the bottom of it, and my foot's gonna get caught and maybe a or. I think bottled water is your biggest fear. Bottled water, yeah. I don't drink water, so <laughs> you're right. I didn't used to drink water for the longest time. I'm the same way. How I, long? I hate water. Hmm? How long? Uh, until like recently, and then I started uh, drinking Powerade Zeros. <laughs> Empty calories. What were you drinking instead of water? Uh, mostly Diet Cokes. Coke Zero. Red, I know, red. I know <laughs> David's a Tab guy. Did you ever drink Tab? What the hell is Tab? You've never heard of Tab. It was the first diet soda. Oh. Red Bear had to get his food like animals do his food. I mean, <laughs> damn, I messed that up. Red Bear had to get his water like animals do his food. <laughs> Because, <laughs> like, I remember when I was in elementary school and I asked my teacher, I don't ever see rats and mice drinking water. They're like, they get it through their food. Mm-hmm. And then it just shows you and I just opening up our carton of jungle juice. Let's give it up for jungle juice. I used to drink that. No jungle juice. Did yeah. y'all ever drink jungle juice? Are there's this little plastic? What are, what are you talking about? You never had jungle juice. That's a racist term, isn't it? Is that you? Will. Jungle juice. You Look know, it up. You, you know we're recording, right? Yeah, I get it. I got a lot riding on this one. I'm 47. What is going <laughs> on with you, dude? Why is that happening? <laughs> David, I'm sick. That's why I have a lot riding on this. I don't have that much longer. What is it called? Diverc- huh? Diver- Diverticulitis. Diverticulitis. Yeah. Got in Pennsylvania two years ago. <laughs> Out of an elevator. Hey, somebody asked me today on Instagram, uh, are we really brothers? What'd you tell him? Yeah. Perfect. I was like, my grandmama was a, a comfort girl at your father's plantation. She was a good friend of B. Vance. Let's go to for B. Vance, my grandmother. I was her favorite grandchild. She tragically died. Before Thanksgiving, I don't know, 10 years ago, not to bring it down, but yeah, no, it's, they were good friends. B would drive her around in that purple uh, Ford Taurus. Yep. Purple. Smooth ride. I don't know if y'all drive. She actually, uh, your grandmother actually bought me my first school uniform. I was there for that. I was in the, the, the room of the Kmart. It was a hell of a day. Yep. Sweet old Vance. 
Sweet old Vance. Let's give it up for my uh, youngest brother, Selden. It's his birthday today. He's 23. Yeah. Going down to New yeah. Orleans tomorrow. Three widespread Spanish, widespread Spanish shows. Just Why? kidding. What? Widespread. <laughs> what? George Lucas. <laughs> I'm, good at, I'm good at twisting words. Around. What? <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> I really messed up on that, David. I apologize. What's uh? What's seventy two times four? Two hundred eighty eight. Whoa, that was quick. How do you know that so fast? I don't know, bro. I'm not... What's six times six? Thirty six. Times six is two sixteen. <laughs> what's two? <laughs> what's two hundred times fifteen? That would be three thousand. Elevens <laughs> 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 always gave me problems. What's eleven times seven? Seventy-seven. I'm just kidding. It's Seventy-seven is the easiest one. What's uh, what's thirty-five uh, times fourteen? Uh, so that would be let's see, that's uh five hundred and ninety, four hundred and ninety. Is that four hundred and ninety? Ask Siri. 35 times 14? I think that's 400. Hey, Siri, what's 35 times 14? 35 times 14 is 490. Whoa. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> you do that. Hey, man. Gosh. Were you I'm, good at math growing up? Like, did you get good grades in math? Yeah, I was on the math team. Oh, shit. All black people good at math. What you need, a pound of weed? <laughs> Let me break that bit down, bro. What you need, an eighth, a four? What you need, a four? <laughs> <laughs> Black people know measurements better than Martha Stewart. Let's give a moment of silence for Martha Stewart. She died at this point in time last year. In a uh, biscuit baking accident. Biscuit baking fiasco. <laughs> <laughs> in Pennsylvania, yeah. I mean, would you ever fuck somebody like like a Martha Stewart or uh, like a Betty White just so you could say, dude, I fucked Betty White? I hit Martha. You hit Martha? Not Betty, though. Hmm. I probably hit Paula Dean the way she cooked. If you had to fuck one of the Golden Girls while they were alive on the show, which one would you fuck? The one who was the whore. Oh. Blanche? Blanche. I think that was her name, yeah. yeah. Erica, you hearing that? We got a Blanche reference. I've been watching a bunch of the... Uh, Hotel Impossible or whatever it's called. I want to give a shout out to that guy. Maybe he can be a guest on this podcast. What Just, show uh, is that? It's um, what is it called? Hotel Impossible. Hotel Impossible. Hell of a show. Twenty twelve. One of A and E's. Twenty twelve. One of their Emmy nomination. It's hell of a show. You know what my favorite show on A and E is what? First forty eight. Love first forty eight. I'm actually going to court tomorrow. For what? I at the storage unit place. I saw this crazy guy. Blood was coming out of his right hand. I think one of his hands, and he was knocking off off mirrors of people's cars. I was able to identify him in a lineup of like five or six people. I got to go to court tomorrow. I'm That's gonna some white ass shit. Gonna testify against him. I'm gonna read some. What if you have to go into witness protection? Yeah, that's what I'm worried about. That's why I think I got a lot riding on this podcast. This might be our only podcast we do. I think it could be very good. I might have to go and witness protection. I don't know what to do. My only other podcast I did was called Nestle's Crunch. We talked about... You really about to go to court to snitch? Yeah, I'm fitting to snitch tomorrow. Fitting I don't snitch. give a fuck. I'm from Memphis. Memphis, ten of keys. I listen to three six. I listen to Project Pad. I listen to Yogati. Yeah, chicken head. Bruh, I'm not going to be the chicken head tomorrow in court. I'm why going to wear my suit? So, how, so, what made you want to go down to the station? Did they give you some food? No, they came inside of the main office, and it was like, "Hey, who saw what happened?" And I immediately, I'd been watching a bunch of the first forty eight. I was like, "I could be a star witness for this case." I saw the guy. I saw him knock off the mirrors. Um, is that homeless guy? It is. The guy said he was on meth, and his family would feed him through the back door, which is weird. And I was thinking, seriously, the guy said that. And earlier I was thinking, oh, what if I end up drinking a tad too much tonight? What if I don't 
go to the courthouse. And then I saw that's the beginning of a movie. The guy just gets hyper vigilant against me, the detective. He gets pissed off. I don't show up. Damn. He tracks me down. He knows where I work. I ain't trying to go to court. Neither am I. Yes, you are. You picked them out of a ladder. What do you mean? Yeah, I'm going tomorrow. You didn't have to do that. You could have been like, I don't remember. Why did I talk, David? That's something I think we need to get out That's during the this podcast. That's in you, bro. Why am I doing that? Because you can't help it. It's embedded in I your DNA. I write children's books. It's embedded in your DNA to want to tell. When I was growing up, all the white kids told on me. Serious? What they tell? What were you doing? Anything. Shooting a paper ball into the trash can. Anything. Paper balls and trash cans? Yes. Miss <laughs> 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 Edwards, it was David Lugas. No, who my, shot. So my first grade teacher was uh, named Miss Jones, and kindergarten was Miss Flato. Miss Flato. Yeah. That's my cousin's name, Richard Flato. Really? Yeah, that's so weird. Fuck Atlanta? I ain't telling you. Georgia? Yeah, Richard Flato. That's Actually, my cousin. Actually, that was in uh I was in school in Maine at the time. Ooh, it gets cold up there. Mhm. <laughs> <laughs> William, which uh golden girl would you fuck out of these? Look at that ladies right there to the left of you. I'd say Teresa Anderson, the lady on the right in the green. That's Betty White. Oh, that's Betty White. I thought that was <laughs> Teresa Anderson. <laughs> yeah, that's who I would do. I can't believe you would. I know, Blanche was okay, but. That's I, the one in the yellow, right? Yeah. I thought Blanche was the one in the middle. No, that's Dorothy. That's the transgender one. Who's the older Hell lady? Yeah. In she, the... she looked like the daddy from Beethoven. <laughs> <laughs> Beethoven. That's she do look a, like the daddy from Beethoven. That's hilarious. <laughs> Just where the family adopts that St. Bernard. <laughs> he finally broke down. He's like, if you're going to have a dog, what's his name? Because I need to know what I'm going to yeah. yell when he's tearing up my shit. Yeah. Do you remember at the end of that movie, the bad guy? Dang. The thing no. of... No, go to her. Oh, you're right. <laughs> yeah, there he is. Do you remember at the end the bad guy of that? All the shots got in his chest. Yeah, all the. Uh, that's a crazy scene. That's the daddy from Beethoven. <laughs> <laughs> that's it's a hell of a movie. They had the hell of a franchise. I think they had three of those. Hell yeah, Beethoven. Beethoven. Yeah. Do you remember your first movie you ever saw, David? What is like that? in a movie theater? No, but one movie comes to mind, R.I.P. Uncle Tim, my uh, white Uncle Tim snuck us in when we were kids to see Liar, Liar. Are you talking about my father? Liar, Liar. Liar, Liar. I was trying to connect. I pop. The Claw. <laughs> I do that to my daughter. You know kids really like oh, that no. shit? I saw your daughter. We FaceTimed. Yeah. It was nice to see your daughter. She seemed nice. Mm-hmm. Wow, did uh, David know you were FaceTiming his daughter? Uh, no. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm a computer hacker. I nah, get... when my daughter, when I'm texting there, my daughter, she wants to FaceTime everybody. Don't tell me that. I thought I was a special person in your life. Well, I mean, I only FaceTime certain people. Oh, okay. Yeah. Liar, liar. Oof. What was yours, William? Beetlejuice. Oh, man. What's Beetlejuice? What? Seriously, what's Beetle? No, I think it was Bram Stoker's Dracula. I was at a, a family friend's place down outside of Oxford, Mississippi, in Marks, Mississippi. <clears throat> really? Bram Stoker's? That was your Bram first as a Stoker's kid? Stoker's in their house. It wasn't in oh. the theater. I think the first one was maybe Titanic. I remember crying. I was with Bobby Hudson and Bobby Hudson's aunt. And I cried a little when when Leo went down. Bruh, you know what's crazy? I actually watched uh I actually watched Titanic with uh one of my one of my best friends from elementary school. His dad just died. R.I.P. uh Gene Nichols. What happened to Gene? Uh I think he had cancer. What kind? The the worst kind. 
What is that supposed to mean? Mm -hmm. But he had something. But I went to go see uh, Titanic. Uh, I was like in the second, first grade with Dylan Nichols. Dylan Nichols. Mm -hmm. I wonder what he's up to right now. He works for Georgia Power. Georgia Power. That's a crazy new website. I don't know if y'all have ever heard of Georgia Georgia Power. (laughs) (laughs) It's similar to AOL. Yeah, but he works with Georgia Power, and uh, we went to go see Titanic. His mom bought us the tickets. Did you cry? No, but uh, when dude, the, I cried at the end of that. When the chick showed her titties, loved her. Look to the uh, right of you. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah! Yeah. I remember looking over to Bobby Hudson. I was like, "Hey, Bobby, what are those things? What is that?" Cow udders. Cow udder, and just picture a cutscene of me walking. Into my parents' bathroom, seeing Francis Montgomery naked. Ooh. Wondering what's going on. Just maybe you fast forward six. Naked? Yeah, fast forwarding six hours. My dad told me to blow my nose on the towel. Hold maybe up. fast forward two hours. My mom screaming, "Who's blowing their nose in the towel?" And How me can get my dad. How'd just, your mom look naked? Huh? How she look naked? Good huh? Kids. Huh? Have you ever seen <laughs> Francis? Uh, yeah. She bought me... No, that was actually your grandma. Vance bought me my first... Be Vance. Uh, yeah, no. F- I don't know. I don't ne- necessarily want to get into it. It's a... Why? When I saw my mom as a kid, I like she had nice boobs when I, when I saw her. <laughs> right and now. I think that really kind of like affected me, like how I look at boobs for the rest of my life. In what way? What do you mean? Like really big areolas. I love them. My auntie has real big... And I saw them when I was younger, and I've never been into huge boobs because she has... That scarred me. And what, what do you say? Like small titties? Medium. Medium. Like this. Oh, okay. Well, my <coughs> hand happens to be really small, so if I... I mean, what is that measurement? You just did your fist up. Can we bring a girl in here so we can... Try it on William. Come here. Here. Come in here. I weigh 287 right now. I'm on a Weight Watchers. My... And you can eat three Butterfingers a week, right? Yeah, whatever. Do the math. Do the math on those calories. I say a butterfinger, a full. Hey, Red Band, can you Google this? I'd say a full butterfinger has six hundred and eighty calories. Per That's bar. an insane. We're not talking about cherry coke right now. No, I say a butterfinger has six hundred and eighty calories. What does it have? Two hundred and seventy-five. One serving for one serving for a two-ounce bar. So the big ones. Why do they even bring up butterfinger BBs? I miss those things. Butterfinger. 275. Yeah, it's, it's, that's about, I think that's about right. That's so 550 in a full bar. 550 full bar. That sounds like me and you selling drugs, just ecstasy tablets. Just How many full bars are in this? 550. David, what is uh, 74 times 10? What is this noise? 740. <laughs> that was an easy one. <laughs> you, you definitely make a lot of noises. Do you have acid reflux a lot, for uh, real? Yeah, I got acid reflux. I uh, I found some Zantac uh, when we were uh, out of town a couple weeks ago. And they it was like a small bodega, like a convenience store. And yep. they had not heard about the pulling of the Zantac from the Can store shelves. So I bought two big packs of it just to have it. Does it help you Why when they you've pull taken Zantac? it? Because it gives people cancer. There's, there's something in it that might lead to cancer. But it's like saying how if you go into a McDonald's, there's something in there that might give you cancer. You know, it's like something small. They just have to like. In I think, California, that's everywhere. Every restaurant you yeah. go into, it says. Yeah, you walk into a building. If you walk into this building, so-and-so chemical are in here, yeah. which may give you cancer. That is cleaning, ridiculous. It's the cleaning supplies. That is crazy. By the way, if you need a caveman coffee or a water, just let, let us know because we have a bunch of those here. The hell is oh, okay, man. Is that one let's give the, it up for Richard Martinez? Just walked down. <laughs> <laughs> Richard Martinez, you can find him on Jaws the Revenge and uh, Mission Impossible 2. <laughs> Jaws the Revenge. <laughs> Uh, 
what do you what is your favorite Halloween candy? If you had to choose one, and what's your worst? The Reese's peanut butter. Peanut butter cups, the minis, they're so good. The best, the taller ones, they're little, yeah. they're almost a little crunchy yeah. because because like, the ripped that's out. a newer thing. No, it's not. I don't remember that. Oh. The mini Reese's, yeah, bro, that's a newer thing. I've never they're had a, that. They're in aluminum. I've never had that, bro. I can take like thirty of them things now. I've never had that. Yeah, you do. My my least favorite candy is dots. You don't dots? like dots? I don't mind no. dots. They're okay. They they're kind of like gummy bears or something. Uh, do you like the good and plain? Do you like the licorice? Hell pills? no! My mom likes licorice. What are those licorice pills called? Good and plenty. These yeah, things right here. Remember these things, William? Hell yeah! Never had them. You're cr- yeah, you have. What, what the fuck did it go? Oh, the small Reese's. Yeah, I've had that. I didn't know how small you are yeah, talking. Like these things. Yeah, they got a crunch to it, bro. Yeah, because of the ripples. William, what's your favorite? Um, probably Skittles. Uh, Skittles. Skittles guy, Butterfinger guy, Mounds guy, uh, Nestle Crunch guy. Uh, if we're talking about Little Debbie, like, like the not her butter. Can I do that one more time? That was a disaster. Uh, uh, hey William, <laughs> hey William, uh, what's your favorite candy? So I'm a big Skittles guy. Love Skittles. Skittles. Um, Skittles. Wild berry. You're a uh, fruity guy. <laughs> big fruity, big time. Big time. What's your least favorite? Uh, Probably, oh man. I would, honestly, I would say a Three Musketeers. Not a big nougat oh, yeah, guy. Yeah. That's old people candy. Yeah, Milky Way. Fuck oh, Milky Way. Way, literally, that's the word. And also, what's the other Milky Way and Three Musketeers? Those two. The worst. Can't. I, I mean, who those. eats those things? Honestly, who eats those things? My grandma, she's eat those. Your grandmother does? Yeah. She's dead now, but she did. How long has she not been with us? 2014, five years. What's the math on that? Five, five, five years. years. Five years and about four months. Did you know Milky Way has <laughs> chocolate nougat? That's the difference between like a Snickers and uh, like the nougat and a Snickers is like a vanilla nougat. I want the peanuts. I want yeah. the caramel. I want the. How'd you say that? Caramel. It's pronounced caramel. It's caramel. It's pronounced caramel. And also, Erica's back there. We got heroes last night. Erica likes to call them gyros. Erica, it's heroes, isn't it? Yes. Y'all get my back on this one. Hello, gyros. Oh God. You call them gyros. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about G Y R O S. What? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, how does that? Are you serious? How does? Gyros. How does that say? They're, Hold on! Yeah, no, I'm They're wondering. called heroes. Yeah, they're hero. They're, it's a hero. So why is the G there? It's like me. It's 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 uh it's it's silent. Yeah, it's a Greek thing. But you know what's funny is anytime somebody goes, I want a gyro. I always think that they're just being funny. But yeah. I think a lot of people don't know that, William. Like, I hear. I again, I think Eric is in the bathroom. It's good she is. I think she's already on edge. Me bring your ear. But yeah, I mean, last night it's like we're ordering the screen phone. I'm like, yeah, I'm making a hero. She's like, what do you mean, Gyro? And I'm like, oh, hero. And I'm like, right, do you really think he's gone? She says she thinks he knows. And I'm just sitting there on her bed, just saying, what the fuck's happening? I'm playing, I'm playing my internet game, and I don't know what. To <sighs> <laughs> That's, it's called gyro, bro. Let's look it up. No, it's not. Look, look it up. up. I looked it up last night. It's hey, hero. S- hey, Siri, how do you pronounce hero? Hey, Siri, how do you pronounce gyro? I can't get the answer to that on phone Uh, Google it. The pronunciation of gyro. It's gyro. No, it's not. Bro. It's gyro. There's no way you think that. I refuse to believe it. <laughs> We're not going to do a podcast together. If you really think that, are you serious? You're really going to throw me under the bus like that? G Y G Y R O. Put Greek cuisine See, quotation the, mark. Gy- on, that gyro has two main pronunciations. Euro, euro, and zero. So zero. Ain't none of y'all saying it right. No, euro is how most people say it. So I'm gonna say zero. Zyro, yeah. Fair enough. That works. That's the new name of the podcast, Zyros Incorporated. That's not a good one. 
Here's, okay. a, here's another fun question that I, I got challenged the other day. How do you spell canceled? C-A-N-C-E-L-L-E-D. C-A-N-S-E-L-E-D. How many L's? Two. Three. Well, I... I Wait, I, hold on. How do you spell it? Let me try it. No, it's, it's one L. It's one it's L. One L. It's one L. It's what, one L. What if I told you it's both? Like, what? look, see, I put this, uh, you know, the poster that we had the other day, uh, and I had, I had made a poster already for that show Friday, but, right. you know, it got canceled, and I, t- I wrote it like that, canceled, C-A-N. Yeah, E-L-E-D, that's what I would guess. And all these people were like, you're not spelling it right. And then I was like, what? That's how you spell it. And then I found out online that canceled has two ways to spell it. It's like one of the only words that you can spell it two, two ways. More Canadians and British people do it with two L's, like C-E-L-L-E-D. Uh, so, yeah. L-E-D. Yeah, the British people do the O-U, where we only do the, do the O. I mean, uh, I'm trying to think of a word right now. You all get my back on this one. What I don't you? even know what you're talking about. <laughs> Honor, honor, H O N O R, British people, H O N O U R. So you guys have an email address for the show <laughs> that people can like send you stuff, right? For like, if you guys want graphics or anything like that. Yeah, it's called uh, Brothers in Cursive at Yahoo. All one word, Brothers yeah. in Cursive. And if you want to specifically send me something, it's pat106 at aol.com. I'm one of the last holdouts. Wow, on both of you are using weird email addresses, by the way. Like, we would use Gmail, but an individual. Let's not get into that. Justin Martinez is very nice. He's going to be here. I mean, you really, you making that weird with him? That threw me off. I almost didn't show up today. Justin Martinez wanted to come here today. He's going to be listening to this. He might be listening to it right now. It puts me on edge. What are you talking about? A guy, a guy. I want to. Justin Martinez got brothers in cursive at gmail.com. Yeah, he got, he, yeah, he, he got it. Yeah. So let's give it up for him. So I was like, I got to make a Yahoo. Yahoo. (laughs) Yahoo. (laughs) And you're using a, well, I I thought of a good idea for a (laughs) song. If anyone can, can make music for the show. What's the uh, you, you ever see that or hear that song from Ice T? Uh, colors, colors, colors. But if it said brothers, 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 you ever heard that song? Let's try it. Well, I beat Will. <laughs> that is. You got some instrumentals, <laughs> Red Band. Let me. Hey, we gonna we gonna ad lib to it and make our own lyrics. Let's do it. No, no, no. Give us an instrumental, just a random instrumental. Yeah. For free. These cameras on. For free. I want one for free. Give me a free beat. This might be free though. How it's done. Uh, Are these cameras on? What? Yeah. Are these cameras? My mom's watching. I want to smoke a little. I got a good way to do it. We can do it through my phone. All right. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. But seriously, y'all, y'all are so, if anybody's listening, y'all are, y'all are so sweet. David and I met one another two years ago in Arkansas outside of the diamond mine. We were working at the Hampton Inn there. Best colors. With like brother, it. I don't know. Oh, that might be fun. Brothers. That wouldn't have even crossed my. I don't know. Yeah. I so guess. you don't like it. Somebody. You don't it. like it. No, it's cool. It'll work. Well, maybe you can give them a sound bite of you going, brothers. Brothers. And cursing. Cursing. Boom. See, that's Boom. what I hope. I think it's a good name. I remember us talking. And I was like, maybe it should be brothers in a cursive font. Which no, I think is funny. You liar. I was like, maybe brothers in a cursive. You're and then brothers liar. in cursive. Liar. No, that's true. You know, no, that's not. We came up with the name in Sacramento. No, totally. I'm saying up there. I just specifically remember. I was there. It was like an accident. Like It totally was. I think I like it. <laughs> Tro- yeah, I was saying, yeah, brothers with the cursive font. Joel. Said, which I think. It. And he did. Leave and it. I think that's fun. Let it be in print, but say brothers I know, in I know. cursive. Totally agree. I like it. With a capital B and a capital S. My buddy John Papiano, want to give it up for him, just got his PhD in uh, Boulder, Colorado, currently in New York. 
struggling comic. He has herpes. He's with a girl that does. <laughs> <laughs> but he told me he te- he messaged me today and he was like, "Yeah, brothers in cursive. That's sort of fun, I guess. I don't really know. I don't know what it means." And I texted him. I was like, "It doesn't." You're not supposed to. Either you get it or you don't. Right. No. Exactly. But you know what's crazy? You were talking about court earlier, bro. I got two tickets to pay this month. Oh, Jesus. What kind? I got one speeding and How fast? I was going I was going like ninety, but I guess he was I guess he was being a decent guy, so um he was like Where were you? Is this do you get a lot of speeding tickets? No, this is and I drive a challenger. This is my first speeding ticket in like What color is it? That's right. You'll see it. Why haven't I bid at it yet? Challengers are awesome. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Do I'll you race? It. No. I cool. used to when I was a teenager. Do you have tinted windows? <clears throat> yeah. You got subs? Mm-hmm. What, 212s? 15s. 215s? Yeah, I'll let you listen to me. Let's listen to some Yo Gotti break a man. All right. Uh, but yeah, so I was speeding in Semi Valley. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Why would you be in Semi Valley? Because <laughs> I was on my way to Oxnard to do a show at Levity Live. Mm-hmm. Oxford, Mississippi. Let's give it up for Oxford, Mississippi. And the other ticket was me just trying to be a, a jackass in traffic. You know how there's a, a turning right lane? A turning so, lane? And then there was a middle lane. So instead no. of me waiting in line, I sped up and like jumped in front of a... I didn't even know that was against the law. But now I know. Yeah, A lot of those things, you, it's just you have to do it once... You know, right. like, oh, now I know that's a thing. <laughs> I strangled a close friend a couple of months ago. I immediately realized it's not a thing. You can get in big trouble for that. Uh, let's give a moment Did of silence. Pass out? Yeah, well, he passed away. Were you having sex with him? No, it was sort of a, just a lover's quarrel. You seem you like somebody that would want to like be choked and choke people. Do you choke? <laughs> are you were you ever into I choking? I get choked. You get choked. I get choked. <laughs> Dot com. I That's our new you. website. I get choke.com <laughs> slash David Lucas, William Montgomery in parentheses. Don't put me in that. Come on. You're already on it. I made the website last night. Are you a choker, David? Are you, have you ever been into that? Are you ever date a girl? That I'll like choke that? a girl. You'll choke something? But my hands are so big, man. Look at these hands. Look at those things. I got to be careful. Hold on. Whose hands are bigger? Mine. Come on, stop. Nah, that hand is wet. Give me the other one. I have clammy hands. <laughs> <laughs> I do have clammy hands. Jeez, wipe your hands oh my off. God, I get it from my grandmother, B. <laughs> oh, my God. That's Did a real thing. That? There was a glare on that. Oh, my God. I Genetically, I have clammy hands from B. Vance. Damn. Oh, gosh. Uh, <laughs> my fingers are bigger. <laughs> We're same same length. Same I'm a little bit bigger. Oh, God. What was that noise? <laughs> David, not, what was that noise? Not good. <laughs> nasty. That is not good, William. Hold on, let's do that one more time. Oh Hold on. What was that noise? My love. My darling. I know. <laughs> Jesus, bro. I'm kidding. You could not have survived. That wasn't me. I've been eating Butterfingers. You would not have survived in a black household. What is that supposed to mean? (laughs) What is that supposed to mean? I would have been walking around with my turtleneck on, and they would have accepted me. Bro, your your mom ever told you? They would have accepted me. They'd be like, William's good at the piano. Let him wear turtlenecks. Have your mom ever told you she's going to slap you the next week? She used to hit me with a gator tail. (laughs) That is a. Uh, I don't even understand how we relate it. Huh? Neither do I. Neither do I, Damon. I can't. You want to have my son? No. Yeah. You accepted me in your family. It's <laughs> good for Nestle's Quick, our sponsor today. <laughs> David, I'm kidding. Stop. This is our first time. We can't help one. Oh, man. (laughs) 
I'm trying to be serious and have a podcast. Yeah, me too. Okay, my apologies. What should we talk about? Bring up a subject. (laughs) (laughs) What? Are you guys into TMZ? Do you guys like gossip? Gossip? Are you a gossiper? Gospel? Gosper. Gosper. Yeah, I gossip. Oh! I made Look at that ass. What is my uncle doing with that girl? That's your uncle? That's, That's tri- my uncle. That's that, Tricky Minaj. That's Trick Daddy. That's <laughs> all you're about to see. Trick Daddy. That- Kim Car- Hold up. What? Wow. Kim Kardashian sues makeup app for $10 million. How dare you steal my photo? $10 million. Mm. That photo right there. She going to get it, too. I bet she probably like she probably get five. Damn. But David, no, let's get back. Let's stop all this. David, this is a, I think, a monumental occasion. I picture you and I maybe remaking James Bond movies. Just some sort of a, some sort of a, whatever you call it, just a group of movies. What is it, What is that called? Just a, a series? A series of movies. It's also another word. It's like Tremors, Tremors 2, Tremors 3, Jaws of Revenge, Jaws, Jaws 2. Oh, a, uh, like a Star Wars, like a... Trilogy. Trilogy. Trilogy, yeah. David and I, I think this is the time we tell everyone we have been working on a Swamp Thing trilogy. We have all three written out. We're currently in production with the first one. We're going to be down in Miami Beach, Florida in two weeks. If anybody's out in Miami Beach, Florida. No, three weeks. Give us a shout out. We're going to be down there in three weeks. We'll be working at the Applebee's part time. Deep frying turkeys. Deep frying turkeys at the Applebee's. Have you ever done that? Yeah, it's the only way to eat turkey, but I don't eat meat. Don't do it frozen. It turns into a bomb. Really? Fried (laughs) turkey is the Look up a fried turkey. Do you really not know that? No, I, no I've you, never. It tried turns it. into yeah, you, yeah, an yeah, IED. It'll explode up. It'll explode. People yeah. do it and it burns people's so, houses. So down. last year, me and William actually sold what was that like twenty eight thousand dollars worth of Cajun fried turkey? Yup. Twenty eight k. Twenty eight k. That's similar to profit. You're what disgusting, is that? bro. You never ever want to put a frozen turkey inside of a hot deep water. Oh. <laughs> Oh shit! Here we go. This shit about to be hilarious. There it is. It's <laughs> real. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> That's killing people. Yeah, because they don't thaw their turkeys out like they're idiots. Oh my god! You know when water meets oil, how that shit go? Yeah. Sort of like how you and I met for the first time. It was like water and oil. My hands are clammy. Yours are not. My hands are bigger than yours. Yours are smaller than mine. We started hanging out. I went to uh Hey Red Band, can we start all of this over? Bro, what? <laughs> <laughs> What's your drink of t- uh choice right now? What are you drinking? Anything. Anything huh? anything in a can. You like anything in a can. No, that's what you Sounds like. Sounds like you have a problem. Wow. You like anything in a can? David. That's our sponsor. Anything in a can dot org. The new beer. The new beer dot com dot org. Dot org slash AOL dot com. I went to uh Kanye's church service Sunday. How was that? Oh yeah, how was that? Lit. Nice. Your Do you believe in Jesus? Power. Do you believe in Jesus? I'm a spiritual individual. I, that's not the question. Do you believe in Jesus? I believe in the story of Jesus. That again is scary. Whether his name tomorrow is Jesus when or I'm not. at the at the courthouse, I'm going to be very frank with the deputies I deal with and everybody. I mean, it's a big deal case I'm in tomorrow. Mm-hmm. I understand that it scares me, but just next time, please, to us talking about Jesus, just say yeah, you believe in all Jesus, please. Red Band, do you? Jesus? 
I believe in the story of him, whether his name was Jesus or not. See the son of God or not. Oh, Jerusalem. <laughs> 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 Uh, I don't want to say my religious beliefs because I'll have to lie. Lie for whom? You know, I just don't want to upset anyone's beliefs. And, and it's stuff better like not that. to talk about religion. Yeah. Just leave it. Well, David, get used to this part. This is a, a recurring segment in Brothers in Cursive. I'm going to be talking about old Jesus. Huh? I'm a born-again Christian. I read the Bible. You got baptized. I don't believe you. That you're, oh, you're spiritual. What does that mean? This sounds like a devil type person. Did you get baptized in beer? Yeah, I got, huh? <laughs> you got baptized in Budweiser? Have you been working on that one? Nope. That is really offensive. That Look, is really offensive. Can I finish my story? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I went to Kanye's uh, Sunday service at the forum. It was lit. He brought out the clips and Kenny G. Wow. Can I play the video of Kenny G? Yeah. Hold on, where is it at? Kenny G killed that thing. Kenny G's a monster. You can just airdrop it to me if you want. I just hope if we if this continues on, eventually I'll be like, oh, old William's right. Jesus is the son of God. Yo, yo. Jesus crying 300 views. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Oh my god. That's sad. July 1st, 2018. <laughs> we should look at other clips of Jesus crying. Oh my god, I watched the Mel Gibson thing for the first time a couple months ago. Never seen it. Have you ever seen that Passion of the Christ? No, I never watched it. Yeah, so I'll I saw some kidding. of it for the first time. I never seen Schindler's List either. That's a good one. Neither have I. I haven't finished it. I think it's on Netflix right now. Really? That's the best part of that joke I have about the uh, uh, the squirrels living in the tree in the middle of Berlin in World War II. Just a mix between Schindler's List and... Where's that trumpet playing here? Fucked my leg up again. You slept? No, I, just, I slipped. Five Goes West meets Schindler's Life. I totally yeah. horribly booked. Listen to Kenny G's sax. It's just like Jeremiah. Yeah, Jeremiah's good. There yeah. you go. Airdrop. William yeah. doesn't know how to do airdrop. Yeah, I don't know how to do airdrop. I'm from the You're old school. You're the only power. Do you have, a, do you have an iPhone? Yeah, I yes, got an does. iPhone. Jeez. You're the only power. Sounds like a Jesus song. <laughs> <laughs> y'all really, if we keep hanging out doing that, y'all start thinking about it. I mean, I'm going to marry Red Band and Janus. They know I'm Episcopalian. They know I'm going to marry them. And I appreciate it. I mean, Red Band used to be a Satanist through and through. He used to kill birds, kill gerbils. We would go to Petco together. He'd kill fish. But it's really cool being here. I mean, we'll... You know what's crazy? My mom sort of thought I was going to be a serial killer when I was younger. I killed all the fish in my aquarium, bro. I scooped, huh? I scooped them out and squoze them to... Squ- how you you squoze, squoze them, them to death? Squeeze them. <laughs> squeeze them. Squeeze, squeeze them to death. No, squoze is the past tense of squeeze. Look at this video you recaptured. That's amazing. Did people like that? Did you like it? It was sold out, yeah. I heard nothing about it. That's my buddy on the bass. (laughs) Here you go. He about to kill it, bro, because at first he was having issues. Crowd turns up, bro. And the clips. So what did people like? The clips, the clips are right there, bro. And the, did like, people like it? Yeah. I feel like I read online and people didn't. You probably won't like it. I think Con- I, probably would, I think yeah. Kanye fans are just taking the back. Like, it's a different style. You know, he's getting really. It's a. I mean, this is different music. You're pretty much listening to some. Well, you wouldn't like it. They didn't have no alcohol there. 
What is that supposed to mean, no, David? No beer. It is October 30th. It's my brother Selden's birthday. I don't know where Patrick is. That's bad ass. <laughs> That's the end of the video. That was a good video, man. You should have kept on going and filmed the whole fucking thing. Let me see. That was great. Works. Hey, there, there's even a commercial. Is this the one y'all just did? That wasn't what y'all just did, is it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was today. It is? Yeah. Is that cool? Do you get food? Yeah, if I stayed. I didn't stay, though. You get that yeah. one, Red Man? Huh? There's another one. Yeah, I just got that one. So I'm receiving it. Yeah. Airdrop kicks ass. Idiot. No, I grew up very religious. I just kind of got out of it. Because when, you, when you're forced to be uh, going to church. That's not God's church, fault. That's not God's fault. I mean, I blame it on him, though. That's not God's yeah. fault. Yeah. If, I mean. You have to be open heart. I, I believe so, mostly Jesus. Yeah, Jesus. He was the son of God or a magician. And you talk about. <laughs> you talk about. Yeah. Uh, believing in the story. Did he make. Oh. Damn. That, that's beautiful, though. I give him that. Yeah. That's beautiful. Were people that camera pa- off for a second? Were people passing? Turn that camera off for a second. It's not on you. So I'm fine. It's huh? You're fine. Yeah. Uh, people were passing around blunts. Oh, they weren't passing around envelopes. Nah, I wouldn't. Have. <laughs> <laughs> oh. so Did y'all watch the Mighty Gymsodes? That show. Mm-hmm. It's pretty good on HBO with. Uh, Danny McBride, I Paul. Oh, so he did. He did play music. Yeah. Okay. I just. I thought it was just like all like choir music. Did you no. go up going to church in Georgia? Yeah. And I went to. A How Catholic, was it? I went to a Catholic school. All guys. No. Nah. I went to an all guys school. That's why you're like that. Was that supposed to mean looking at people's penises in the bathroom? <laughs> what? Well, let's play. <laughs> let's play swords. Hey, can we play swords? I didn't even like to go into the locker room and change clothes after gym class. I would just go home. I never had to do it. Yeah. Like, I never play. I was a cyclist. I was a state champion. I don't know if you know that, David. With the two junior yeah, Olympic training camps for biking. I used to shave my legs. I was all into it. I was big into it. But I remember in high school, that's what I was doing. With, like, this group of very nice guys. I loved it. But, yeah, I never was, like, on the football team or something where you'd have to take showers in front of people. Never had – I was always bashful. I don't know. I feel like that would have scared me a little bit. Do you feel like you could have beat Lance Armstrong? No, I don't think so at all. And let's give it up for Lance Armstrong. I don't care he was on drugs. So how far could you cycle in, like, one – When I got really back into it probably three or four years ago, I was doing 300 miles a week. I was doing 100 Jesus. every Saturday. That's I literally nice. not getting around. I go on these two group rides Tuesday, Thursday morning. I'd be in my parents' garage smoking weed, <laughs> listening to like listening to Animal Collective or listening to all these different songs. And I'd go and do this group ride and do 50 miles every day. I need to do it. I have two bikes up here. I just haven't been doing it. How long does? I'm always miles? at my happy. I'm always at my best when I'm biking a lot. So how it's long, weird. I don't do it. How long does 50 miles take? Probably three hours. It's not bad. Yeah, no, it was fun. It was so much fun. What you got a BMX bike? I have a bike called a Planet X. If Planet X is listening to this right now, it's an English company. They have not responded to my emails. There's an issue with the back bracket on the bike. It could just collapse. So I'm worried about riding it. That's not my excuse, though. I'm just lazy right now. I need to be bike. I haven't been biking. Am I still not to sh- not supposed to show you? Because I've been just showing David. Yeah, that, yeah. Blah, 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 blah. I just want to feel liberated. Do you have 
have any videos of you in your bicycle days? I wish. There are pictures I had. I started doing triathlons. Won the first one. Came in second <laughs> down in Oxford, Mississippi. I'm not kidding. Uh, in there Mississippi, was a teacher. of course you did. Y'all, I've never been in a fight, but yes. I had a I had a teacher, Coach Naff. This is a good song to be playing with a story. That's 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 that was you, right? Right here. Yeah, I had a teacher, <laughs> Coach Naff. Twelfth yeah, grade year of high school. He was like he was in the Navy. He was like. William, you remind me of a Navy SEAL. So there was a little point in time in my life I was thinking I was trying to join Are you some sort of special can forces thing. you see thing. this guy as a Navy SEAL? No. I was a state champion cyclist. I was winning triathlons. I've never been in a fight, but there are points in times in my life where I think if this piece of shit says one more word, I'm going to strangle them, put them under my Ford Taurus. I'm going to run over them a couple times. Oh, that's that's 2002 booty. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's that's Jesus. I, uh, <laughs> have you all ever been in a fight before? Yeah, I mean, have you all several. fought? Yeah. Did you win? I've only lost two fights. My How last many fight, fights have you been in? Jesus, you've been in a lot of fights. Probably like uh, 20, 20, 30. What? Yeah. Were you an angry person? Were you yeah. hanging out with the bad people and now you're different? I grew up very dope, bro. Like, I grew up with everything you would think a kid want, but I chose to, like, hang with f- the fucked up crowd. You know what I'm saying? So I got into a lot of fights because, like, kids were envious because I had everything. I had the new Jordans. I had a new car. So it's like, you know. when you For ha- those that don't know, David's father was the founding member of Enron, mm-hmm. the now defunct business entity. So, yeah, you know, when you uh, when you have everything – People be jealous and they'll they'll try. I like the. Were you scared the first fight you were in? Nah, because I grew up like boxing and doing taekwondo. Did you beat the fir- first fight you were in? Did you win? <clears throat> I never lost a fight until I, I the, both fights that I lost, I got jumped. Did you get hurt? Nah, I've never been like. See, you're lucky. That's what I think about fights. Like maybe you win, maybe you lose. My thing is, if, if you punch somebody and they hit their head on the ground. You're going I mean, to jail. I mean, that seems like such a nightmare. It depends on who nightmare. started it. But, I mean, it's going to Does cost. it? I don't know. Yeah. I mean, you, if you kill somebody during a fight, you will need some witnesses and a decent lawyer, a good lawyer. Just me showing up tomorrow wearing my Take, camouflage shirt. Just, I yes, actually you're, almost went to jail over fighting, bro. And I was in, like, the sixth grade. And there was this Sixth kid, grade? Yeah, there was this kid named Nick. And at this time, like, I had started wrestling, so I wasn't, like, really And he used to power me. lift, didn't you? Yeah. So I was, I've was. i always been a big dude, you know, more athletic when I was younger. But, um... That's right. <laughs> this picture. Yeah, that's me in high school. So, um, you know... Uh, Let's give it up for Gucci, man. <laughs> <laughs> but I put this kid, I put this kid in a, a chokehold, bro, and he passed out. And Sleeper hold? Yeah, bro. And uh, he went and told his mom. His mom tried to press charges. So you my, know what happened to me in the first grade? I went up to, to Hugh to Francis mom. at Presbyterian Day School. And I was like, hey, Hugh, I'm starting a stealing club. And he saw me steal a a thing off of someone's backpack. And he told his mother, Elizabeth Francis. Um, she told my parents. And I spoke to It was a... Horrible nightmare. I was essentially in jail. Let's <laughs> give it up for Elizabeth France. <laughs> is that a picture? This is a picture from your MySpace days. Is this when it was? <laughs> Who, me? No, no, William. Oh. Was... Yeah, I was big old MySpace in the mid 2000s. Were you in, you guys into MySpace? Did you have good yeah, MySpace, I had a MySpace pages? I had a MySpace did you? In high I did. When I was a senior in, in uh, like 2005, it was the start of uh, Facebook. And I, I remember getting on it, and then I went to Tennessee, went out with this girl. Her ex-boyfriend said that they messed around, and I got off Facebook for eight years. I couldn't do it. Had to get off. David, that is when I started biking a bunch. That yeah, is that's when me. I, that's me. Where? Right there. This first one? Yep. And I got a... Is uh, that really? Yeah, that's mine. And I got a comedian page, David the Dude. Oh, that's shit. not you. That's not you. That's I not you. God, that's me. That's me. There's no way. That's when I was smaller. That's how I look. No, I see it now. Yeah, that's I see me, it. You look like a little Kanye. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. That's when I was small. How old, How long ago was that? I was like 20 right there. I, I used to be very small. How old are you now again? Late 20s. Go 28? To, uh, go to uh, 
Go to uh, myspace.com, David the Dude. David. The Dude. T-H-A. My first thing. So you're doing comedy under David the Dude? I, T-H-A. What were you doing? In dude. regards to comedy, what were you doing? I got my first, uh, oh, damn. Well, type it in, David the Dude. Okay. Uh, How long ago was this? When I was a teenager, that was I got my stage name from Devin the Dude. Would you start Dang, doing comedy? Bro, how, look at that. How old were you when you started doing that? No, T-H-A. I was like 16. Seriously? Dude. We're in Atlanta? Dude. Dude. Yeah. Where were you, Atlanta? Yeah. Hold up. That what happened? I guess. Oh, no. I want to see my old MySpace. Damn, did they take it down? I can probably still log into that account. I, David. If... It's the internet. That's what scares me. About like the kill tone, just in maybe 300 years from now, somebody's going to click on my the first kill Tony, wearing the neck brace, talking about general manager La Quinta, and just think what was going on in America at that time. What? Fucking <laughs> MySpace probably had too many people going to it at the same time, like four people. I can't believe it's still around. At the storage unit place, it's always funny when somebody does give me like an this AOL. Right no. People. Let me see if I David can pull the, it up. Hey, look here, David. Uh, dude, let's see. Janet, That's yeah. it. That's it. That's it. There's a picture that will pop up. Yeah. I don't think that pictures work anymore. <laughs> This website's a mess. <laughs> Look at it. It's just freaking out. <laughs> David, what was your first Did joke? Did I really look that, like, different, like, 80 pounds ago? When I saw like, that I picture, like <laughs> I immediately didn't. I mean, if you saw me six years ago, I was winning triathlons. I was eating cottage cheese. I was working at the grocery store. I was poisoning people. I was enriching people. I was. All my photos are gone, and now there's just advertising and two pictures of the same picture. What is it doing? Look at that. It's just loading shit up. This is like the most hacked website ever now, right? Probably. I don't even. This email address that's attached to this thing. Hey, David. Yeah. Where'd your friend go? I don't know. Hey, Red. He, I, last I saw him and that girl that was in there uh, went in the bathroom together. What is that supposed to mean? Are you messing with me right now? Is anyone out there right now? Because I want to get... What was that? No What's that noise? I think it's coming from the bathroom. Hey, David, are around. you comfortable if you and I end up, <clears throat> through God's grace, traveling the country? Maybe we're in Indiana at one point in time. Somebody's harassing me. Are you cool with getting in a final fight? A final fight? Why would it be a, a final, final fight? fight? Why? Are they going to shoot me? Because <laughs> we're, do we're doing real good. Somebody's messing with me one last time. Just a final fight. Are you comfortable with that? Nope. I won't get in What do you mean you're not? We're going to have bodyguards, bro. But, but, I mean, I feel like we won't need, like, Dave Chappelle doesn't need bodyguards. How do you, when you look at me, do you think I've never been in a fight? Could I win a fight? No. If I were real mad? What do you yeah, mean? You no. Could, you could. I saw you do 20 I don't push know. I saw you do 20 push ups. You could. You Red would. Band, could I beat someone in a fight? Uh, probably not. They'd you probably, serious? They would probably just punch you in the stomach and then you'd like start coughing up blood. And <laughs> yeah, I have throwing Lyme's up, disease. Throwing up beer. <laughs> <laughs> it's just all fountains out like a Vegas fountain. Yeah. Well, guys, this was our pilot. So next week, uh, we'll be filming, I guess, our second episode. Yeah. Okay. If you guys have any ideas, email that, uh, e that email, email address. The idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Repeat that email should you get live, The email you address is... Think you should get live for a second? The email address is you're the only power. 
brothers in cursive at Yahoo. Do you think you should? Could you get live for two minutes? We're live right now. On your thing, on the. Oh, thing. you want to take some questions? Yeah. Oh yeah, I, I could actually take questions right now from uh, YouTube if you want. Uh, well, get on your thing. I don't like. I don't trust YouTube. Okay. <laughs> Are you on Discord? No, nah, you're gonna have to teach me that one. Yeah, I don't know any of that. You guys are younger than me, man. <laughs> You're like 20 years younger than me. <laughs> I was right on the cusp of the generations. Didn't learn the internet. Got really good at Chinese checkers. Yeah, I like Chinese checkers. I'll, I'll play you in Chinese it's a checkers. a hell of a guy. I'll choose yellow. All right. It's What's on. your color? I, you know, I never really picked a color because I've always been. What would you choose if we played? Probably red. Interesting. Because of the devil, you know, I'm into that guy. Yup. And then it just shows your thing it's behind you. Just the yellow and red, it turns into that. Your... <laughs> so we'll take some questions from Instagram. From the good old Graham. I did some Instagram thing the other night, and I was on it for too long, and then it All right, so we're taking out. questions for about... Uh, I say the next two, three minutes here. So if you guys have questions, go ahead and hit us. I feel like I should get live as well to have somebody fight. <laughs> two people fight. What up? From Canada. Me and William going on tour next year. The Brothers in Cursor Tour. Am I spoken? How, how can they listen live? Hmm? Are there any questions on YouTube? Uh, here's YouTube right here if you want to look. Any questions? Uh, Just tell me. Right there. To the right of you. 2020 goals. Crip and Swamp Thing, podcast number one. Eric Spencer, love where your head is at. Let's give it up for Eric Spencer. Watch my stand-up in the church. Hell no, don't watch that shit. Watch my stand-up in the church. Why my microwave so fancy? I don't know. Why is your microwave so fancy? <laughs> <laughs> you have a fancy microwave? It slides out like a drawer. Oh, really? Yeah. That's cool. I got one of those ones where you, there's no like time. You just put in it in and go cook it, and it just cooks it. Like you don't ever do the numbers or anything like that, which is weird to me. Mm. Like it knows, it detects what it is and how so to cook it. They want to know: Will the podcast be on Spotify? Do podcasts be on Spotify? Will I'll podcast. answer that. When you can grammatically say that correct. Will the podcast be on Spotify, motherfucker? Yeah, it will. Will it be on Spotify? Right yeah, now? it will be on all social media shit. Gabe said, hey. What's my favorite soup? My favorite soup is probably uh, broccoli and cheese. What about wow. you? Wow. Didn't see that coming. What's your favorite soup? What you want me to say? Chicken noodle? <laughs> <laughs> That's a red bad one. <laughs> well, not, no, I mean, I, not many people like cream of broccoli, I don't think. You know what I like? A what? good cream of chicken soup, though. Like old school, mm. uh, like Campbell's cream of chicken. Uh, half the amount of milk. Half the so amount of milk. To make it a little thicker, you know, like a gel. Full amount of Gilligan's Island. Laying out on your parents' couch. So, all right. So, a lot of people are asking about the Kill Tony set. Yes, me and William collaboratively wrote that. I mean, you know. I was scared to death. <laughs> David gave me those lines. I was scared to death. When you were going up first, I was thinking, I'm not going to be able to follow you. My dad loved you. No, I knew I wasn't. My gonna, dad loved you. I knew I wasn't going to be able to follow you. No, my dad loved you. What's my favorite muffin? Blueberry. What's your favorite muffin, William? Uh, corn raisin. What? It's a Nestle thing. <sighs> Silver, everybody. The return of Michael Silver. There it is. Always fun. Fun episode so far. <laughs> <coughs> the edge. And I'm 
something about that break. Everything you oh, say. Oh, shit. Here it is. Day. William killed okay. it, bro. So he he we're made me laugh. we get back to the bucket in just a moment. However, we do have regulars on this show, everyone. A couple of very fun human beings. We've always had regulars on this show that uh, have grown and developed and been found and discovered in our farm system here of regularship. At farm Ooh. system like the Many Cleveland Indians. That was the wrong thing to say for a black guy. <laughs> farm system. <laughs> our cotton field. Very polarizing figure. You either love him or you hate him. Uh, he has had some major breakthroughs in the last couple weeks. He does this new thing sometimes where he might try to get the audience on his side by using local references. But anything can happen. Let's see what happens here. He's one of my favorite comedians in the world. It's the great William Montgomery, everyone. Here we go. The people from Brenda. <laughs> Wait a second. What? <laughs> That was perfect. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so we got a guy that's going to make the intro song. Oh, yeah? Perfect. Can I sing some white chicks? I'll sing some um, hanging around downtown by myself, and I had so much time. To sit and, and think, think about, about myself, and then there she was, like, like disco cherry pie. pie. Yeah, there, there she was, like, like disco, disco lemonade. I, I smell sex and candy. Yeah, who's that, that lounging in my chair? Who's that casting devious stares in my direction? Mama, that Charlie has a dream. Yeah, God. William, do you know any? Uh, <clears throat> do you know any country? Yeah, I'm a big. Uh, All right, well, you know this song. Um, sure. Hold on, how's it go? Take Jimmy Johnson, take Tommy Thompson, take my best friend Bo, <laughs> take anybody that you want, as long as she don't go, take any boy in the world, take any but boy, please don't take the girl. David, hold on, just a little aside, what is... uh? 75 times 3, pretty easy. 225. 225. What's 75 times 6? 75 times 6? Yep. That'll be 300. 75 times 8? 75 times 8 would be 600. 16 times 3? 48. Whoa! <laughs> How'd you do that one so fast? 16 times 4? 64. What? Fifteen times twenty. Three hundred. Wow. Forty eight times two. Ninety six. Six times six. Thirty six. Six times seven. Forty two. Six times eight. Forty eight. Six times nine. Fifty four. Fifty four? Yes. Alexa, can you check that? That that was always the weird <laughs> one. The fifty four <laughs> one is always the weird one. It was the one that didn't <laughs> rhyme. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was the one six that didn't rhyme. Some more. Give me some more. <laughs> seven times seven. Forty-nine. Uh, Fifteen times twelve. Uh, That would be 180. 180. What's 180 times three? 540. <laughs> <laughs> Check my math. I think I'm right on that. <laughs> what is, uh, what's 34 times three? 34 times three is 102. <laughs> What's well, 28 times 7? 28 times 7 is 168. Damn, that seems fast. Mm -hmm. uh, what is 254 times 8? Uh, 254 times 8 would be 2032. <laughs> Can you check that, though? Yeah, sure. <laughs> How the hell do you do that? Hey, man. Well, what's 232 times 6? That would be uh, 1392. <laughs> Is that right? How are you typing it so fast? 
<laughs> I can't believe it either. That's I'm so impressed. I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. What's 64 times 12? Uh, that would be 64 times 12. That would be 768. Is that right? Yeah. Damn. That's crazy. Yeah. I'd be the opposite of what he's doing, if you ask me. I'd be like, Oh. Yo, Mike out. What the hell? Yeah, what happened there? What happened? Oh, can we get William back? Come back, William. What happened? There we go. Give me another There's one. There's no recording. Give yeah, me another what, one. what's uh, 77 times 15? Uh, so, uh, it's like uh, 77 times 15? Yeah. That would be eleven three five maybe. I might be off. What is it? Ah, oh, eleven fifty five. Eleven fifty five. I was almost oh, there. That's pretty close. <laughs> what's seven? What's six divided by two? Three. That's. Are cool. you good at division? Yeah, fractions, all that shit. You can do all of that. Mm-hmm. What's two twelve divided by eight? Two twelve divided by eight is what thirty four. Is it? Is no, that? no, no, no. Two twelve divided by eight is gonna be improper, I believe. Twenty six point five. Yeah. Truly improper. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that is so crazy, dude. <laughs> Freaks me out. Yeah, I can't believe it. What? What? Wh- how about four thirteen times eight? Four thirteen times eight would be three. Four thirteen times eight. Four thirteen times eight. Three three hold up. Three three oh four. Yup. Yeah. How do you do that? I don't know. Can you I, teach me? I see it. Could you teach me? Have you ever been tested to see if like you have some like s- weird special power thing? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Have you ever been tested? What got me real good at math was this game called Twenty Four. I mean, once you learn, like, multiplication up to, like, 15, the rest is, like, easy. Like, my mom made me learn all the way up to 15 times 15. You know what I'm saying? Which is what? 15 times 15? I think yeah. it's 225. Can we get a check on that one? Yep. <laughs> wow. That's I can't believe it. I only – I got up to, like, the nine stem t- – I could do the tens, ten tables. That's the easiest one. Yeah. <laughs> the fuck did? And 11, you double the yeah. The numeral. If you know multiplication, you know division. It, it's hand in hand. Yeah. Well, this was our first episode, guys. We're about to get ready to end. Uh, give us some feedback. Um, Red Band, how can they listen to it? Uh, you can find it on. Yeah, please give us some feedback. You can always, this was a yeah. giant nightmare tonight. I am so car- sorry, Matt, the wild man. All the links will be at DeskSquad.tv, uh, and it's going to have its own podcast feed soon, too, uh, which will happen once you know iTunes uh, approves it and everything gets put up. But yes, yeah, send all your information, like y- any ideas, you know. The, we- uh, the email address is brothersincursive at Yahoo. Send us fan mail. Um, don't send it to gmail.com yeah do not send it at gmail send it at yahoo brothers send it at yahoo.com yep and um paypal is william butterfingers montgomery hey why (laughs) y'all bullshit my cash app is dollar sign (laughs) david lucas funny i always need some money (laughs) he's got it rhyming You, so you guys don't fuck with Twitter, so people can find you on. Yeah, we'll make a Twitter. Yeah, yeah. you need to. You find out. I don't Instagram. understand Twitter. Why? What's the deal with it? It's good for promoting for like comedy and like podcasts. It's great for that shit. Yeah. Well, does William understand anything outside of PBR? No. <laughs> that wasn't very funny. All right, all right, guys. 
Thank you for tuning in. See you guys later. Yeah. Did you butt? <laughs>